there in the second half. The defense kept answering, being there for them. Uh, what was the mindset there in the second half when things were, were struggling? Uh, we just wanted to play a complete game. Last week we saw that the defense kind of stumbled a little bit towards the end of the game, so we came up with the mindset that we weren't going to let that happen again. You were all over the place tonight uh, or this afternoon. Um, none more observant than that final play where you caused the fumble. Uh, walk us through that one. Uh, I can't even remember what play it was, what play is called, but I knew the game was on the line. We need somebody to step up and make a play. And my teammates believed in me. I felt that I could do that, so I just did just that. And we was able to get the ball out, and we recovered it. So it was important that we did that, and we were able to get the offense in a good position so we can hopefully win it, run out of game clock and win the game. How much was the key for you guys against the option? You guys seem to be anticipating really well what they were, where they were going, and what's what was kind of the, the emphasis for you guys today? Uh, we had to win the turnover margin, and I think we did that. Uh, it was important that we watched a lot of Notre Dame film, uh, how they attacked the triple option, and we implemented some of their uh, game plan into ours. We were able to play discipline football and assignment football, attack them in with the ball. What did you see from them that you guys took? Um, just how they uh, disguised a lot. They were really, they stayed after them. They hit them, hit them right in the mouth, frankly. And just be able to gain tackle, that's important when stopping a triple option because Justin Thomas, he's a phenomenal player. I know him on a personal basis. And he's very elusive. But when you are able to corral the uh, ball carrier and tackle him, that's really important in order to stop a triple option.